Lecanemab, a new Alzheimer treatment, has recently been approved in Canada and has been shown to slow down the progression of the disease by treating the underlying causes and not just symptoms. So what we frequently hear from clients who visit all of our 26 local societies is that they're hopeful. They're hopeful for a treatment. They know that this is not a cure, that this is just a step in the progression. Uh, but there's a lot of hope uh, and some genuine excitement from folks. Lanacab is the first treatment in more than 25 years for patients with mild cognitive impairment or early stage Alzheimer's disease. The drug targets and removes beta amyloid plaque in the brain, which collects over time and is believed to advance Alzheimer's symptoms. Although approved for patient use, it could take years before widely available. But we have to plan, and planning is something which has been unfortunately lacking in our healthcare system. Do we have enough specialists to look after these patients? No, we don't. Lanacab is not for everyone. Screening processes need to be in place as a variety of conditions need to be met for the treatment to be successful. And we have to have a place to give infusions. It's an injection every two or four weeks. And we have to have the ability, the infrastructure to diagnose and track patients to make sure that they're safe when they get the medication. So there's a lot of hurdles to get over to benefit our patients. And we don't know exactly who's going to benefit the most. The treatment currently costs up to $27,000 a year in the U.S. The province's next step is to negotiate a price with the drug maker and then decide what will be covered under provincial health plans. We don't know if provincial formularies will choose to cover it because it doesn't cure Alzheimer's disease, doesn't return people to being normal. It slows by about 27 to 30 percent the rate at which people overall are going to decline. That process could take up to another two years. Lecanemab is not a cure, but a treatment that will give patients more time to plan for future care. What we're really excited about is the possibility that our clients can be at home, can be living with their families, living with their care partners for longer at home. Lecanemab might not be widely available for more than a year, but this first step offers hope to Alzheimer patients and their caregivers. In Toronto, Beverly Andrews, City News.